About Butalinic. Once upon a time, there lived a grandmother and a grandfather, and they had a grandson named Butalinic. They went to work every day, leaving Butalinic home alone. The grandmother always told him, be good, Butalinic, play nicely, and don't open the door for anyone. I've cooked plenty of peas for you, as you like them the most. I left them in the pot on the stove. Butalinic played as his grandmother instructed, and when he got hungry, he happily started eating the peas. At that moment, a reddish fox appeared, and she asked Butalinic, Butalinic, could you give me some peas? I'll carry you on my tail. Butalinic didn't want to give the fox any peas. But the fox pleaded with him, saying, Butalinic, please give me some peas, and I'll take you on my tail. We'll travel on the bench, and we'll journey through the room. Since Butalinic had eaten his fill and still had some peas left, he opened the door for the fox, pushed a plate towards her, and said, Here you go, enjoy. The fox devoured the peas, then took Butalinic on her tail, and they traveled on the bench, through the room, onto the road, and into the fox's den. When the grandmother and grandfather returned home, they couldn't find Butalinic in the house. They searched for him in vain, but Butalinic was nowhere to be found. The grandmother cried and mourned continuously. The grandfather couldn't bear to see her like that, so he took his violin, gave the grandmother a drum, and they set off to find Butalinic. They went all the way into the dense forest and spotted a fox's den. It seems to them they could hear Butalinic crying from inside. The grandfather quickly tuned his violin, and the grandmother played the drum, singing a song. We have a little violin and a pretty drum. There are three little foxes and our Butalinic. The old fox got angry and told the young fox, go and tell them to stop playing. I have a headache. The young fox stuck its head out of the den, and the grandfather seized it and put it in a sack. With excitement that they had caught the young fox, they continued to play and sing. We have a little violin and a pretty drum. There are two little foxes and our Butalinic. This further angered the old fox, and she sent out the second young fox with the same message. The second young fox also stuck its head out of the den, and the grandfather swiftly grabbed it and put it in the sack. They played and sang again. We have a little violin and a pretty drum. There's one little fox and our Butalinic. Now, the old fox decided to go out and see for herself, as neither of the naughty children had returned. She stuck her head out of the den, and the grandfather captured her, put her in the sack, and tied it up. Butalinic was safe and sound in the den. He had been crying, but the foxes couldn't harm him while the music was playing. The grandmother and grandfather, overjoyed to have Butalinic back, forgave him, and everyone lived happily ever after. And what did the grandfather do with the foxes? He threw the sack on the ground and beat their furs thoroughly with a stick. Then he untied the sack, and the foxes jumped out and ran away as fast as they could.